all right now we've written our article manually and then this is the method i think that is safe even faster if you're so good with uh, article writing it's faster than even using uh, uh, maybe a write article writer because you can actually use, a, use uh, an article writer to write an article but most of the time i've done article writing straight the way i just did and then i've done it using uh, article spinning tool but i tell you if you if you are so good with uh, uh, the way i just did it manually you see you will discover that it's even faster than using uh, an article writer even better because then you won't have the this problem of uh, plagiarism or or having this uh, uh, duplicate content issue because when you write manually you're writing your own way freestyle everything so it's not possible for you to have duplicate content issue you understand what i'm trying to say the way we just did there's no way we can't have a problem of uh, duplicate content so that's why i always encourage you to do it manually so at first it's very very hard to actually uh, do something like this but with time you get used to it and then you can be able to write freely no matter the niche no matter what the uh, article is all about just do your research and then you you write something good freely and then you write in something like 500 600 uh, words so you can actually write something good as fast as uh, possible then normally if you if you write an article the way we just did so most writers will tell you to to copy the the the, the content and put it into copyscape this is a copyscape and then you you look for duplicate content if you did what i just did you wouldn't even need to have copy you didn't you even need to use this particular site this particular site has a free version as a paid version so if the the guy, for example, what, so if you were to deliver the job to the guy, the guy will just paste, maybe probably put it on his website and then will now copy the title, I mean the, the web and then put the URL here and then we're able to check if there's indeed a duplicate uh, version of that this is online. You understand? So easily the guy can actually do this and then fine, just click on go. And then if there's another copy to show uh, uh, some other site with that same content, if there's not, it will just show only the site. But most of them, most uh, writers always suggest you use CopyScape to test before you deliver your job. I don't do this. I don't, because this, you, you, for you to do that, you need a uh, CopyScape uh, premium. And then it works on point. You have to, I think five dollars for I think about hundred entries or so. So you have to pay five dollars. You you see it's only five cents per search, which is uh, exactly yes hundred dollars per hundred. I mean five dollars for hundred. So you have to use it hundred times and then for five dollars, which is cheap by the way. So if you can, you can just register Copyscape, then you pay five dollars and then. You can use that five dollars hundred times. You understand? Which is at least if you're doing, uh, even if you're doing five dollar jobs, you understand. So five dollars times uh, uh, hundred, that's about five hundred dollars. So for every five hundred dollars, you're paying five uh, uh, five dollars. So it's like just one use of the of this site will pay your copyscape. You understand? You pay for your copyscape. That's what I'm trying to say. So you can come and register, but I don't actually, I don't feel the need to because my, when I first started, when I was doing article writing some, some time when I first started, I actually uh, paid for $5 account. And then when I kept, I, although I, of course, all my distance were done manually. So I used this 100 times and nothing came up. You understand? Because I was writing manually. So, and since then I, I just wake up one day like, why do I need to even pay for premium when I, even though it's very cheap, when I know that uh, I write my things manually and I know it's never going to show up as a duplicate. You understand? So since then I don't. But if you're not too sure, then 
pay for CopyScape. It's just five dollars. You understand? And then you can check, and then you just just pay, and then you can check. You enter your content after writing it, and then if there's a duplicate content, then CopyScape will tell you there's a duplicate. Then you can rewrite to your taste. But if done manually, the way I just did, then you have a problem. Except you're using a spinning tool. And then definitely in the next uh, video, we'll go to article spinning and then you see how to actually write article with article spinner. And then I'm going to show you a very free tool, a very good one to use. You understand? So you go through that article spinning. You can actually do article spinning jobs too, but you can actually use that to write content. Then if you're using that particular method, to write article, then you need this copy scape. You understand? Because article spinning can never give you the same result as a writing uh, manually. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So just write manually and then you, you won't uh, need this copy scape. But if you're using article spinner, then you need to have this copy scape premium account. Just $5 for 100 searches or $0.05 cent for one search. So for every $4, I kept saying five dollars. I think it's four dollars. Yeah, at least you get four dollars. For every four dollars, you spend five cents. You understand? So at least for hundred searches, you get four hundred dollars minimum. You understand? So and then you're paying five dollars out of four hundred dollars, and then you can even make more than four hundred dollars because there are some people who tell you to write uh one thousand two hundred article, and then you can do that for maybe as an extra. So this is. Just uh, something I just need to tell you before we move on to uh, article spinning. So I hope you like this video. So until the next uh, video.